This episode is sponsored by Hook Relay. If you integrate your apps with third parties like Stripe, GitHub, Slack, or Trello, you'll want quality webhooks that's more than just sending a JSON payload to your customer's URL. Hook Relay is a service that makes sending and receiving webhooks reliable, secure, and transparent automatically. You can watch your traffic, inspect each request, and much more. It's like X-ray vision. Without Hook Relay, you have no idea of how many requests you're processing. Of course, if your app or your integration partners are being flaky, you'll love the peace of mind that comes with knowing that no matter what happens, Hook Relay will make sure that your webhooks are delivered. Go to hookrelay.dev to get started and get reliable webhooks for your app in minutes, not days. In this episode, we have several different views that we'll be looking at. We have a view to see a bunch of comments, we have an activities view, and we also have a view where we can see some random images. And sometimes when we are developing an application, we want to provide our users with some kind of interface to see all of this information combined. And it won't always be a full experience, however, sometimes we want to give a high-level overview of the important things on our application. And so in this episode, we're going to look at creating a dashboard, which can have a lot of different information in here. For example, I have an API which is reaching out and getting the most current weather information. And if I ever want to update one of these, I could just click this little swirl icon. It'll make a request back to our application and refresh just this panel. And then we have something like our comments and activities. And sometimes when we're dealing with this kind of stuff, and when we get into the pagination, it can be a real toss-up whether or not this is going to be a good experience. So as I'm navigating through these, we can see all of our comments that we are paginating through, but if we look over on the left-hand side under the activities, these didn't change at all. And sometimes when we are talking about our dashboard, when you make one action, it'll then start updating the entire page or refreshing the entire page, and that doesn't really give a good experience, and especially for a dashboard where each one of these individual components could be a pretty heavy request on the Rails application side. And so in this case, as you can see, as I'm paginating through all the different activities, it's not affecting the comments or any of the other panels on here. So I can scroll down, and if I want to refresh the quotes, I can click the little swirl icon, and I can see that I'm getting a new quote each time I refresh it, but it's not affecting anything else on the dashboard. Same way for the random images, we can click this and we can get a different image. And typically in the past few years, if you wanted to build something highly interactive like this to get this kind of functionality, then you would have to reach for a front-end framework like Angular, React, Vue, or something similar. However, in our case, we're going to build this with Hotwire using the Turbo Frame tags, and we're also going to do it in a performant manner, and we're also going to do it without writing any JavaScript. And so we're going to start out this project with a fresh Rails 7 application, and I did go ahead and add some scaffolds for the comments and the activities, as well as a seed file that's going to inject in a whole bunch of different records just so we have something to work with. I've also went ahead and created a weather service, which is simply going to call out to a weather API at the openweathermap.org, and we'll get a JSON response. And with this API, there's a lot of things where the values that it's returning are actually in Kelvin, so I'm going to convert it to Fahrenheit. And so between these scaffolds and this weather service, that's all I've really added into this application. Other than that, it is a pretty bare bones Rails 7 app. So if we come to our application, and if we have a look under the comments, that just takes us to the comment index, and we have a whole bunch of records here. And we also have a whole bunch of records under the activities, and this is going to cause a problem when we actually go to work with our dashboard because this is going to be too much information to display on a dashboard. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add some pagination. And it's important to note that in this episode, we are wanting to try to create the dashboard as uninvasively as possible. So we're going to be reusing a lot of these views. And if you do find a situation where perhaps your index on a particular action like the activities 
where it's done in such a way where it's not appropriate to put on the dashboard that you may need to create a separate controller within action to get the appropriate information. And we're going to be doing that a few different times just so you can get the hang of it. And the general concepts will all be the same. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.